Hey friends, let's chat my quarter four slash yearly income report for TPT. For those that are new around here, the name's Rainy Barton. I'm an elementary music teacher and middle school musical te theater teacher by day. I also teach circus. I also do booktube. I am also a mom. I do a lot of things, but I'm also a teacher productivity teacher over on here. And I help teacher printer, uh, teacher printers with teacher seller businesses help master their time and energy while scaling their business so they can ditch the hustle and grind, break up with busy and stop sacrificing their mental health. And in today's video, we are going to be talking all about my quarter four income report. So I do income reports once a quarter to talk about where my TPT business has gone. I also just my teacher printer productivity business as a whole, what I've been doing and all of that fun stuff. So uh, the way it normally goes is I talk about the report for the quarter and I'm also going to add the whole year because this is Q4 and talk about how I did. And then we talk about what didn't go well, what did go well, and then my next steps or my goals for the following quarter. So I'm gonna also do it for like kind of the year as a whole. So if you're excited about that, then stick around, stay tuned. I will link a playlist to quarter one, two, and three if you wanna watch those reports and then watch this one after. Or if you just wanna start with that, this one, it's totally okay too. But with that, we are gonna get started. And I'm gonna make a disclaimer and apologize for if you hear my son's show in the background, but that is the only way this video is being made. So you're welcome. Okay, I've got all my notes. So that I'm ready to go with all my payouts and all the things. And I'm so glad that I did this forever ago because I was just preparing myself for when I only had like 10 minutes to film. And here we are. Okay, so let's start with, I'm gonna do a minute or less description of how the year has gone. The year so far has gone really well. If you've watched my other videos, then you know that in February I had my first four figure month and not only was it four figures, it was 2,500. And then I had my second four figure month, the or almost four figure month right after, it was at like 980. And then I had, uh, I haven't had a four figure month since. That's all changed. Okay, so let's talk about quarter four. I actually had a really successful quarter on TPT. So this was the year of making a crap ton of products and it definitely paid off and I'm going to do one more huge heavy hit year of product creation, which we talked about in my last video. But let's talk about how October went. So in October on TPT, my income was $840.71. And I will say the thing that really helped was I made a crap ton of Halloween products. So my specialty on TPT is to make music teacher like activities that go with books. So I take popular books like Eric Carl's The Very Busy Spider, or what was another one I did? Frank was a monster who loved to dance, like these typical, oh, and uh, the Pete the Cat version of Five Little Pumpkins. I take books that people use all the time and I add music lessons to them. Music teachers really love that, and so I did that with like five or six activities, and so that was a bundle and that kept selling, and then I made these like agenda slides, and then I made an ultimate Halloween music bundle, and that just started to sell, and little by little I just it just added up. So uh, holidays and seasonal things are my jam. That's kind of the thing that like makes my uh, channel or makes my, oh my gosh, I can't talk. That makes my store do really well. And so that's what I did in October. That's how I made that money. It was really helpful. And yeah, so that was October. It was a really great month. Then let's talk about November. So November was my second four figure month in 2021, which was so exciting. And I made $1,190 and 75 cents. And how did I do that? Thanksgiving stuff. Ma, I mean, I thought Halloween would sell more than Thanksgiving, but no, no and no. There was one product in particular that just kept selling like hotcakes. And that was this inky dinky little product that I made like four years ago called Run Turkey Run. And it's like a book with a music lesson. And it was selling every day, like over and over and over and over. And then I put it in a bundle and then that bundle was selling over and over. And the bundle wasn't that big because I only have two or three Thanksgiving books that I've made lessons for. But my Thanksgiving stuff was just on fire this year. It was just selling like crazy and it was just great. And it was really awesome to have because honestly that TPT money is what allowed me to that and some other stuff allowed me to get my camera that I am vlogging on right now, the one that's much better quality. And so I'm very appreciative of everybody that spent money in my TPT shop during Thanksgiving because that was ultimately what it was. I just, so many people bought Thanksgiving stuff. It just blew my mind. And it's not even like I have that much Thanksgiving stuff. So I don't know, but I'm excited that it happened. <laughs> but yeah, it was just an amazing month. And I just every time I mean, anytime I make money at all, I'm like, wow. But then when it gets to that, I'm just like, 
wow, like stuff that I made is being used by teachers everywhere and it's also helping me make more money because teachers deserve more money and you know, they just don't get enough money. But that's another topic for a whole other day. But yeah, that's how November went. And then December is like really small in comparison to all of this and it was only $322.85. Now, that's not a lot compared to those two months. It's still money, but I equate this to a couple of things. One, teachers are not really looking for products in December that often because most of us are only in school for about two weeks and then any Christmas stuff that you made after that tanks. And I'm not gonna lie, I just don't have a lot of Christmas stuff. Like I don't have any Christmas book lessons. I made one, finally. Like, I don't know. Like I get to Christmas and it's like, I have no ideas, which is so weird. But I also kind of waited last minute to put a couple of products up. And so I kind of lacked in the Christmas department. I'm not gonna lie. And so I kind of expected it. Plus nobody bought anything over Christmas break. Teachers are not thinking about buying stuff over Christmas break. If you're thinking about it, don't think about it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was still nice. It still paid for my business, which that was a huge goal for me this year. I wanted my business to be able to pay for everything that I use to operate my business. And I'm happy to say that every single month without fail, I didn't have to use any of my personal expenses to fund my business. And I am so beyond thankful for that. Like, so thankful that I don't have to use our personal expenses to fund my business. So that was all I wanted. And that was the first goal for this year. So I'm super excited. This year now I'm really working on trying to save for a down payment for a house. So that's the next thing that I want my business to help with. But yeah, so that was December's payout. And then before I tell you the total, the total, before I give you the entire total for Q4, let's talk about other uh, facets of business that made me some money and then we'll add it all together for Q4. So from other things, I have my Teachable, which my Teachable is where I store my Talk Trello to Me mini course, which is $27. I also have my Batching Breakdown, which is $2.97. And then I have, um, I also do one one client productivity coaching, but I haven't really been like shouting that or like giving that like a lot of forefront right now. I plan on talking more about that in 2021 and, or in 2022. And so I actually do have information on like, one one coaching and all of that if you're interested in that I'll link uh to my website under here but uh so you're gonna hear this number and go but that's not as much as 297 you have to keep in mind like teachable takes money and so I took exactly what I made like out of teachable after they took stuff so I had one person buy my talk Trello to me mini course and um it's on evergreen all the time and so is my batching breakdown and I had one person buy that unexpectedly whoop whoop so excited so together with those two it was $266 and then I actually am working with someone one one on productivity coaching for the month and each month is $400 so I added a $400 thing to that so I made $666. Oh, I don't like that. 666. I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, I made $666, which fun fact, my headmaster the other day was like, Rainy, can you spend like one more dollar in your budget? Cause you've spent $666 and 66 cents. And I was like, yes, I can spend a dollar. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so I made $666 on other forms of revenue. And so now if we're looking at the entire total for Q4, let me calculate it and then I'll tell you. All right. So my total for quarter four was $3,020.31 and that is how much I made in quarter four, which still blows my mind because literally in 2020 I made like no money, no money. And so it's crazy what a year can take when you just add some products in your store and you market your products and you do all the things so yeah it's just ugh, I'm just so thankful I really really am like I'm very very blessed and I'm just thankful for everyone that buys anything from my store so now that we've done that and we've gotten that out of the way let's talk about what each quarter's month total was and how much I made in my business as a whole and then I'm going to talk about what I think really went well, what I think didn't and what my goals are for 2022. So I went back to all of my income reports to make sure I did the right numbers, although I'm sure this might be slightly off, but we're just going to go with what this says. So in quarter one, I made $3,757.28. In quarter two, I made $1,975.65. In quarter three, I made $2,805.04. And then we just talked uh, in quarter four, I had made $3,020.31 for a total of, please hold, for a grand total of $11,000 or 
cents. Almost $12,000. I'm gonna try and keep filming even though my son's in here and we might have to quit, but we'll see. Almost $12,000, like I said, it blows my mind because I was not making money in 2020 in my shop because I had like no products and I just wasn't doing anything. And I am honestly just so excited that my business is in a place where I'm making money and I can provide for my family and I can pay for stuff out of like my business. And it's just wonderful. So 2021 was a great year, but I am ready to double that or triple that in 2022. I'm just gonna really talk quickly about the biggest things that helped with that number. The biggest things was having long form content, which was my YouTube channel. It started selling stuff for me a lot and my blog, although I kind of fell away from the blog. So definitely my YouTube content. What also helped was making products because I only had like 36 products at the beginning or at the end of 2020. And now I have 186. So I made like 150 products, which blows my mind. And then just marketing my products on like Instagram and like all the things that also helped. But like just providing a lot of value on my long form. So it was really just long form and product creation that really helped with this goal and seasonal products. If you don't have seasonal products, make seasonal products. They really make a difference. I really promise. Now let's talk about what my goals are for 2022, what I'm shooting for in my TPT shop, keeping it in mind. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this either because I kind of went through that in like my coffee chat, like catch up the other day. But we'll just talk about them really quick and what I'm shooting for in quarter one as well. Okay. So my first goal is to make 300 products this year. Well, not make 300 products, get to 300 products. And I'm at 186 right now. So that's about 114 products. Think I can make it. That's a lot of work, but I've already have a couple of products in the works. So I think I can make that happen. And then I also want to hit the first milestone for TPT, which is $20,000 in sales. However, I made like 10,000 in my store this year and I had only ever made like a thousand prior so I think this is the year that I'm gonna make that happen we're already on a good way to hitting that with January's uh quarter or income report so far so I want to hit the first GPT milestone so I have about oh I have 8700 to go if I want to hit that this year and I think that I can do it because I'm currently at eleven thousand three hundred seventy dollars and forty cents in sales I also want to shoot for $20,000 in my shop in general. Like I just want to make $20,000 in sales across the board. I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's like my big goal. I'm shooting to make the TPT milestone. And then that's like my ultimate, like really futuristic goal. That would be really awesome if I could make 20,000 in my shop. Uh, that would be like half of my teacher income almost. So that would be pretty great. I also want to solidify my product suite for my teacher seller business. So I am currently working on my website and then I'm going to, I'm separating Whimsically Musical from the Timely Teacherpreneur. I'm separating them finally on their own websites and I'm going to have like productivity coaching, but I'm also going to have my course, which I'm splitting into two, which I just decided recently. And I'm doing a lot of shifting and making a product suite that has entry level like things for like, for example, my Trello course is 27 to my high ticket items. And so that is something that I really want to focus on in 2022 so I can have a business so that when you come in at the entry level, you can stick with me all the way to the end and maybe we can even work together one way. That would be like the dream. Then two things for my music teacher biz is I want to create a music teacher course. I'm not sure what on yet. I have a couple of ideas, maybe on how to make a musical out of a book because I do that or how to create purposeful curriculum because I'm really about that. I'm not really sure yet. I have a couple of ideas that are swirling around in my head. So I still have to think about that. Uh, and then I also want to host a music teacher conference, like an online one, because I've seen a couple like really great ones for like teacher sellers, but I want to make one specifically for music teachers, like a three day conference online with amazing people and presenters. And I'm just excited to do that. My friend, I took her course a while back where she taught how to do that. And so I'm super excited to like actually watch it now when I have time and make my own conference. Super excited. And then my teacher seller business, I am making one more course. So I have to film a couple of videos for it, but my batching breakdown course is huge. And so I'm breaking it into two and there's going to be like a, and the ideal day formula or the ideal day blueprint, which is like how to create your ideal day and make your schedule and everything work for you. So that once you have that figured out, then you can go to the batching breakdown where you learn about your systems and routines and workflows and stuff and how to batch so that you can do that successfully. But you can't do that successfully until you have your schedule figured out. And so we're taking the two apart and they're gonna be two different courses. And so I'm super excited to release the ideal day blueprint very, very soon. But yeah, that's like my big goals for the year, what I am shooting for. And then as far as quarter one goes, I want to at least in quarter one get to 220 products so that is 32 products I think I can do that 10 products a month I think I can swing that uh, so that's one goal 
I want to be consistent with my content again. So getting back to YouTube and Instagram and all the things. And I'm not going to, I'm going to say I haven't started off well with that. But I just made my content calendar for my three channels and all the things. So I think I have a chance of fixing that in the middle of January. I want to solidify my product suite, like I said, for Timely Teacherpreneur. I want to at least hash that out in quarter one. And then I can start to work on it in the other quarters. And then I want to hit another $1,000 month. I would love to hit it in January. Uh, but I re I'm excited to see what I'm going to hit in February because that was my big month and I'm just, I'm making more products and like, I know they're going to sell even more than they did the last year. So I am just excited to see what sort of money, if you want to know my big goal, my big goal is 5,000 in February. Am I going to hit that? I don't know. That's double. That'd be, that's my dream. I hope so. Um, and that's what I want. So those are my goals. That's what I'm shooting for. I know this income report was like a little bit shorter, but I feel like if you've watched my other income reports, you kind of know by now like what I'm going to say. The like long form content is really important. Seasonal products are really important. Having products in your store is really important. And continuing to put time into your store. I work on my store every single day in some form. I'm not going to, well, that's a lie. The last two weeks over Christmas break, I really didn't. I took that time off. But now I'm back to working on it every day in some small form. And honestly, that's what you got to do to make money on TPT. You got to put time in or it's not going to happen. Now, like I said, I will link my other income reports underneath here if you want to watch them. I'll link a link to my website if you want to look at the different services that I do offer currently right now. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to finish doing this year strong and you will see me on Wednesday hopefully with my goals for January because I was supposed to put that last Wednesday and it just didn't happen but it's never too late to share your goals. All right friends I'll see you in the next video. Bye!